Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. This is episode 25, it is chapter 14, uh, Ephraim's route. It is the last unique chapter of his route and then they are the same from here on out. So, a couple things first, uh, before we head to Grotto Keep, I have a couple, I trained up Varshal a good bit, she's level 15 here. I have two units to promote, the first being Garrick. You can see his level up, not bad, 15s, 15, 17, 18, resistance isn't it great, but you know, he's done better before, but we'll just promote him. Uh, he's ranger in the other one, so he will be hero here. Solid bonus for promoting, and I can use axes now. And Joshua, I trained him up. 20s for skill and speed. Strength only 14, luck 12, which is defense and resistance real bad, so. We're going to promote him. He could become an assassin, but he will not. He will become a sword master. Okay, so we can see now he is 16 strength, mm, but not still not too much good with him. Um, then everyone else I think is pretty much where they've been. Um, I did in order to heal, um, or to get La Rochelle to level up some, two things. One, I also got Tethys up a good bit, um, but two, I ended up actually training Garcia just because he was able to take damage consistently for her to continue to heal. So, who knows, if I find myself with an extra hero crest, maybe I'll promote him. Um, so, uh, let me just double check real quick. Any, I, any other, um, do you have any other promoting items yet? I do not. Okay. So let's head to Grotto Keep. Now return safely to Ephraim's side. A noble warrior to the end, Selena fought with great honor. Never once using Mara as a hostage. Ephraim renews his vow to pierce the veil of mystery surrounding Grotto Empire. Selena is added to the list of innocents whom Grotto must account for. The center of the Grotto Emperor, Emperor of Regard. Should have been here, but. <sighs> Father and son. The Grotto capital. It looks like it hasn't changed at all since the last time I was here. Eric and I came here once long ago with our father. Duzel taught me the lance, and I studied history with Lion. I never imagined I'd be back here armed for battle. Flashback time! Two years ago. And so, the hero Grotto and his companions used the five sacred stones to steal away the evil of the Demon King, and his wicked soul was locked within the Stone of Grotto. The Stone of Grotto came to be known as the Fire Emblem. To this day, it is kept safe and honored as a nation as a national treasure of the Empire. I think that's about it. For more on Grotto's life, read Founding Emperor Grotto. It's comprehensive. It's so thick. And its letters are so small. But you have to read it. You don't want Father McGregor to discipline you again. I'm no good with books. The problem is they don't move. I get bored silly. I understand so much better when you explain it to me, Lion. Yes, but it's kind of weird to be helping you all the time. It's just that I admire you, Ethan. I want to be strong like you, brave and handsome. I've got an idea. Why don't you teach me to build a lance, Ethel? I can't let me, my defeat to Eric go unchallenged. I look foolish. It's a deal. We'll practice tomorrow, though. If you want to beat Erica, you have to take this seriously. Just go easy on me, alright? Ah. Big 
and tremor. Happened a lot, didn't they? Are you alright, Ma? Yes, I was startled. Effort, this palette, this place. Did it always shake like this? Yeah, Griffith's been prone to earthquakes for a long time. Tiny tremors like that happen all the time, don't worry. Really? Uh, Ephraim? What is it? I can feel it from inside the castle. I can feel the darkness. I feel a broad pool of darkness deep within its walls. Perhaps it's coming from the throne room. That's our Emperor of God, the man who started this is. Let's go. Father. Father, have we been foolish? When you died, I couldn't accept the loss. I... If only I'd been stronger. Ugh. Your Majesty. Enemy soldiers are headed this way. Ow, oh, Prince. Hi, what's wrong? Why such an unusual expression on your face? I'd rather you didn't look upon me as though I were some horrid beast. I... I beg your pardon. Did you say we were under attack? I want all of you to strike the foe. Bring your weapons to bear on Ephraim. Is that acceptable, Father? Do... do as he says. Yes, right away, Your Majesty. Command Grado, Emperor of the Guard. Destroy Ephraim. Okay, so here we go. Um, just like with Erica's 14, we do want to bring La Rochelle because we will have to recruit... Uh, maybe he's not on the map yet, uh, but... Renek, he comes up somewhere like this way, gets this, and then tries to escape over to this way. Something to that effect. Maybe he comes in down here, I don't exactly remember, but... So, to bring La Rochelle. Um, let's see... Oh, who, who do I not bring? No, we don't need to bring Joshua just yet. The next chapter is when we definitely want to bring him. Yeah, so that'll be fine. So let's formation here. Wait. Oh, duh, I didn't click R2. I was like, why is it one less? Okay. So, formation. And then move her. Alright, well we'll send her up and over to take care of these guys and whatnot. And then over here... Okay, let's just save and we will begin. Has Rannick not showed up yet? Maybe after the first turn he shows up. Which is even better. Okay, so. I didn't even look to see anything we can steal. Let me get that. Oh, here's one. So we can steal that body ring to increase constitution. So that's the only thing we can steal from the person, is that body ring. Now next, I want to make sure that's not... that is the sword of her. So, perfect. He won't be able to reach if we move her here to kill this guy. Oh, and I'll turn animations back on. Having a moment here, so let's 
Let's see how Archer handles fire. his first turn. Nice dodge, Tana. That's good kill with your awesome dragon, because dragons are awesome. Oh, bad, bad, not dodge, Tana. God. <laughs> and wait to continue to be God. Oh, and crit God. taken out. Um, with two things. One, be careful with flyers because they're all those archers and snipers up top there. And two, and I will show you here as soon as it's my turn, there are several people with berserk. Oh, there he is. Okay, um, and then the second part is, yeah, there are these things have berserk. And they have quite a range because Berserk is half of your magic power. So, 10 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As soon as you get to there, they can try to use their dangerous magical powers. So, Natasha, let's break this guy. Don't get hit with 13. Good. And lightning him to death. Don't spin our arrow at all. Um, I didn't look to see. Iron, steel, steel. Nothing crazy though. Seth, don't get hit by this 22%. Good job. Tana up because she is apparently unable to dodge simple things. Um, oh yeah, and I do want to move her up. Now where can these guys reach? He can reach there, he can reach there, he can reach there, no longer is perfect. Oh, a nice pierce there. Uh, 
kill the armor slayer with your lance. And send it away, and now here, um, hand hammer. Oh, watch out for hammer. Effective against knights like Kyle. So I want to stay out of his range, so this is fine. And let's just Cormag finish this off. Another dodge, another kill. <laughs> so, so far the enemies are just weak little basic non-promoted things. I mean they're probably like level 14 to 17-ish, but they're still non-promoted. So I'm just well outclassing them. Oh, they have many, many more than I do, so... Crit there, Ephraim. Uh, all right, and Tana's apparently gonna get attacked by everyone, but she can dodge, so. It's all good, and he's going to pilfer the spear. Oh, and there's a sleep. 39% is 100%. Okay. Oh, and actually, I just thought that's a really bad idea that I don't have someone over here with restore. So we're actually going to run her down here. She can take out these guys. Because that's the big thing, is if one of them, Tana or Cormag, get Berserked, or Paladin really, it's just they have such huge movement that you can't really like escape them. They all have, right? They all have the, they can reach this middle spot, so the archers all have the long, long bows, so. <sighs> zero, zero, zero. I haven't seen that yet this playthrough. No chance of hit, no damage, no chance of crit. Derek, let's kill this thing. that off. Kyle. Alright, so what, we're 20 minutes in. We killed quite a bit already. Let's finish him. 
him on with the crit that we don't need. Could have had it the first hit. But... Okay, uh, let's... Get that crit on the second hit that we don't need again. Because that's how Fire Emblem works. these with bows, and not get hit by 19%, good job. stabs in with the jet. Oh, crit! Okay, I was gonna have to send Cormig up, but that works too. I mean, I'm still sending Cormig, and Shine can do what? 19, and one has enough to be from is the one that we're worried about. Steel, steel. As well, get a little extra experience by healing Nami. Okay, um, his turn. Bringing them down and over. And forgot they had units there. <laughs> and 31%. <laughs> Four percent does a ton. And I think that I plan on him dodging that. So I believe both of those things can attack him. Yeah. And 41 percent. So 44 hit him. 41 hit him. But 43 misses him. Oh boy. Can't make this easy. So apparently 40 is the magic number that everything hits. And here's a silence on Loud of Shell, the one who needs to talk to someone. And it hits, of course. And sleep on Garrick because, oh my goodness, these things have such high percentage of hitting. Oh no. Okay, 12% missed. <laughs> Appropriate. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's just charge forward. Gonna kill these things. Ephraim gets up to level 19. Bad level up. Um, yeah, so she blasts that. Oh, and gets that second crit that we don't need. Oh boy. Now Ephraim, how far can he reach? Okay, so he can only reach right there, so any of these spots are fine. But I can't double with an iron land. Or oh gosh, I can't double with anything, so. Well, 
that. Because Naimi, you're the best thing. You're the only one who can kill him. Now, I should be able to handle that. Yeah, a lot better. And get that crit, yes! Cormag up here. Yeah, no one else will be in range. Actually, yeah, he'll go for there, so no one else will be in range. Um, let's just take this guy out. So, Archer, we're just gonna let you um, trade this door key over for. She doesn't need a javelin. As well. Um, Lance Reaver, meaning it's bad against axes, which is why I want to here, anyways. So. Okay, yeah, I can't reach that. Okay, so. I'm going to call this an episode because we have a ways to go still, um, so I will jump right back to this and I will give you the question of the day on part two. So if you like, like, comment, subscribe, 